I was really lucky to live out in the country. I spent my days as a child with a sketchbook running loose on our, my parents' farm with a beautiful dog and beautiful horses, drawing, sketching. I kind of had my own little world. I'm a pastel and oil portrait artist. I specialize in sporting dog art and equine art. To be a good artist, especially to know how to paint animals well, you have had to experience that on a very, very personal level. Aiden, you gonna throw? Sit. <laughs> Not only the love that you share for those animals, but the physical presence of those personalities and that fur. And the smoothness or the sweatiness of a horse when it's been worked hard and you both worked hard and you share that experience together. That all comes back to you when you sit in front of an easel. At least it comes back to me. I'm working on a dog named Zoe and Zoe was a rescue pet. It's always interesting when you have a mixed breed come in because you have to really take a look at you know, how they're built because they're not necessarily the same way. This dog really resembles an American Staffordshire Terrier. You want to tell their story through their portrait and I think that fine artists, we can choose every little thing. You know, you may give me eight snapshots and I may like a little piece here and a little piece here and a little piece here. So I'm going to try to put those together in my head and create overall a work of art that's going to move you to a new emotional state when you look at it. I'm called by clients who have lost an animal. They feel that their dog is maybe be, you know, very ill and they want to know right now, what do I need to be prepared so that I can memorialize this relationship? The process for me, I would describe as a team effort. I want to develop a relationship with that person because that person is my window on understanding who I'm going to do a portrait of. So I have to see that animal through the eyes of the person who most loves them. This is kind of a look that we would get when we're in love with somebody and I want to make sure that the owners know she's in love. She's in love with them. I can take those words and that love that you're feeling and I can turn it into an image that's coming from inside you to me and then I'm like a mirror <laughs> and I'm reflecting it back. Zoe, you can tell, is just filled with warmth. When you listen to music, you want to feel that all the way through you and a painting does the same thing for me. Will you get to open it? Oh, okay. Finally, finally see the final product. Everything plays into basically making that final note <laughs> that we want to we want to feel it. <gasps> oh my god. The leaves in the background are awesome. And not only face. you got to see that before. And her face, you've just captured it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I like to know that I've touched another person, and I like to know that they've touched me. 